right, guys. So what we have here is a Kaiser bag leader knife. I think that's what they call this. And this knife um, was sent to me a while back to do a review on. And, you know, I just never really got around to reviewing it. I had uh, done a review previously on the Ontario Knife Company Rat One uh, Oz 8 model. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about this model as I do this review because what you can learn about the steels between these might help sway your decision if you're looking at any of these knives or any knife in general, really. Um, so this is uh, about just over eight inches fully extended. It's got a locking blade, which is pretty typical on a lot of knives. Of course, nowadays they're calling these weapons instead of tools. I don't know where that concept ever came from, but this is a tool and it's, it's actually a pretty good tool. It's one that um, I have given to my wife to use and I'll explain why I gave her this one and I choose this one over it in a minute. Um, and it's nothing against the knife because like I said, this is a very nice um, knife. So the handle of the Kaiser is actually made out of G10, which is a glass-based epoxy risen laminate. It's often used in things like handguns, um, precision-made gears. Um, it's used in all sorts of materials these days because it is super hard, super durable. And that's something that you'll find uh, as I talk about this knife is that this knife is made to be indestructible. Now, Kaiser is um, a German company, but their knives are all made in China. And I've found that that seems to be the issue with a lot of knives these days is that uh, they might have a German name or a Swedish name behind them, but chances are the knife is made in China. Now, this one has the VG10 steel. Um, VG10 is... Basically, it's a Japanese steel. It's made to be a lot harder than the 440 steel that's made here in the United States. It's 1.5% cobalt and 15% chromium. So it's a pretty hard steel, and that's one of the issues I have with it. I don't like hard steel knives for my EDC. They're nice to have. Um, this knife I have used for splitting wood and whack it. And, and you can split wood pretty easily with a knife like this. I mean, the, the steel is definitely strong enough for splitting wood. You can't even tell that I've really even used it for that. I mean, there might be a couple dings here or there. But when it comes to resharpening, it could be very tricky. So steel is going to come down to your preference, what's best for you. If you don't mind going through the hassle of resharpening a, a knife like this, and it's gonna come razor sharp, um, then, then you shouldn't have a problem with it. But if you're somebody who has to, who uses your knife a lot and is constantly resharpening it, uh, that is when having something with a softer steel, and I'll talk about this steel in a moment, uh, will come in handy. So if you don't mind going through the sharpening process on the harder steels, uh, the VG10 is a very hard steel. Now, if you are to buy this today, they recently upgraded this model. So the new model has the N690 steel, which is made by an Austrian company, and it is actually used in spider knives. So instead of buying a spider, you can look at one of these, which runs you about 60 bucks, uh, considerably less expensive than the spider. And today they'll come with the N690. 690 steel, but check when you're looking these up, they come in different colors, black, green, blue. Check the color because the color may still come with the VG10. The green ones and the black ones have all been swapped over to the N690 steel. The N690 steel, believe it or not, is actually tougher and harder and stronger, in my opinion, than the VG10 steel. And that's because it's 17% cobalt. Uh, cobalt and tungsten, which is what my tungsten is, which my ring is made out of, are the hardest steels on the market. So that is going to be one heck of a knife, a, a virtually indestructible knife. And that is what makes these Kaiser knives 
so great. And the price point on them really isn't that bad, of course, like I said, they're, they are made in China. I think um, Spyderco, I, I, I'm, I'm not up to date with Spyderco, but I think that they're an American-made company. So obviously the materials come from different places. If they're using the N690 steel, that is an Austrian steel. So I mentioned that I was gonna wrap back around to this wrap one by Ontario Knife Company. This one is actually made in Taiwan, I believe. Yep, made in Taiwan. And it is a beautiful knife. I can't complain about this knife, really. I mean, it's, uh, it's served me well over the years. If I flip that around, you can see the... Now, the great thing about this knife is that the steel is an Oz-8 steel. Oz-8 is very, very similar to the US-made 440 steel, except for it's slightly harder. They have the Oz-8, and then they have the Oz-8A. The Oz-8A is uh, a heat-treated version of the Oz-8. But they're both very nice steels. They're a little stronger than your 440 steel, steel but very similar to it. Um, but it's because it's softer than something like this. It is much easier to resharpen. And for me, that's a pretty big deal. I can get this thing sharp enough to shave with very easily. I did a video on shaving with it. Uh, when I did the review on this. So this is about a $30 knife. And this one here is a $60 knife. And my personal preference has been this $30 knife, but that all comes down to my ability to resharpen it. If I could choose to carry two different knives, depending on what I wanted to do, I would definitely take this one with me while I'm camping or when I'm doing activities where I know having the harder steel is going to benefit me. Um, but I, I really don't need to carry multiple knives. So I've just kind of stuck with the Ontario and uh, my wife uses this one a lot when she's gardening. So this has kind of turned into her knife. So that's it. If you're interested in any of these knives, I'll post some links below. Um, and like I said, this, this knife here is gonna come with a better steel than what I have in my hands. It's gonna be a harder steel, but um, if, you, if you like those harder steels, a lot of people do, that's why they make knives out of the super hard stuff. This is a great knife to own. Pocket knife, get smaller pieces of wood, but you don't have a hatchet. Take your knife and you just kind of set it on the wood. This is a very uneven table. And you take a piece of wood and you can... Slivers of wood that we need to start a fire. Pretty cool, huh? Mm hmm. You ever seen somebody do that, that before? No. Mm -hmm. Thick that time. 